Hello, my name is Dr. Pop and today we're gonna talk about five theories why we have music on this planet. Theory number one, the famous and a little bit funny cheesecake theory. It has been created by a professor from Harvard called Steven Pinker. And he said that music was a kind of byproduct of evolution not really necessary for our survival and reproduction. It was nice to have it, but you could also live without it. Well, I couldn't, but it doesn't matter. Theory number two. Music was invented by mothers. Lullabies are most likely the oldest tunes on this planet. And when we sing to a child, it has only positive effects. Researchers have only recently found out that singing to a child produces a very important hormone. A child who's too excited will be calmed down by the music and um, a child who's too tired will be activated by it. So it works in both directions. Scientists are convinced that children with singing parents had higher chances for survival in the evolution. And another good thing is, singing lullabies also calms the parents down. Guten Abend, gute Nacht, mit Rösslein bedacht. Theory number three. Three. Music helps us to persevere. Since humanity has existed, it has always been on the move. Of course, in search for better life conditions. And to hold out well over long distances, singing together gave us a lot of power. And this must be true. I mean, we have so many pop songs about walking and running, like uh, walk this way or walk in Memphis. You never walk alone, so this is proof enough. Theory number four. Music was invented to form groups. Within a group, we feel much safer and stronger than alone. And this was very important in times when we were still being attacked by wild animals. All alone, we were an easy target for a dangerous tiger or whatever. But when we dance and sing loudly within a group, we appear much bigger than we are. And the tiger says, well, let's go home and have a salad today. Or a cheesecake, of course. <laughs> Theory number five. The evolutionary purpose of music is sexual selection. Charles Darwin argued that music has for humans the same function as for birds. Who sings better is more attractive. La, 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 la. Charles Darwin further said, who sings has an evolutionary advantage. But I know people when they sing it's not really an advantage. Anyway, it's been proven that people who make music are more attractive because we attribute them better genes. Just grab an instrument, no matter which one, it will be so sexy. Let us know, um, what do you think? Which theory about music and evolution is most likely? One, two, three, four or five. And let us also know if you like cheesecake or not. <laughs>